All right, one-step exponent rules. These can be very confusing, um, and really, unfortunately, the only thing you can really do to get this down is just memorize, memorize, memorize the rules. And the best way to do that is to make yourself a set of flashcards. So you can use flashcards using some of the notes we've had in class. You can make up flashcards using these six problems I'm about to go over. But the way to make flashcards is to put the problem on one side of the card and to put the answer on the other side of the card and to quiz yourself by looking at the problem and seeing if you can guess the answer and then checking by looking. Um, if you get it right, great. That means you probably know that one. If you get it wrong, set it in a special pile so you can keep reviewing it till you know the answer right away. So that being said, the first problem here, 3x squared is in parentheses and it has an exponent of 8 on the outside of the parentheses. Um, the first rule we're going to use is that rule that says we need to share this outside exponent with everything inside. And the reason we get a share is because there's multiplication happening on the inside here. Um, so we are going to share the 8 with the 3 and we're going to share it with the x squared. So what that looks like is it looks like 3 to the 8th times x squared now has to the eighth on it. Um, three to the eighth, we just put that one in the calculator and it actually it's a huge number. So remember to put exponents in the calculator, you type the base and then you use this little arrow for the exponent and three to the eighth turns out to be 6,561. So three to the eighth is 6,500 did I say 61? Yeah. Okay. Now we actually have to use another exponent rule for the x because we have x to the second to the eighth. This is a power raised to another power. And we always multiply those exponents in this situation. So we get x to the 2 times 8, which is 16. So the answer for this problem comes out to be 6,561x to the 16th power. All right, the next one, let's move over to the right here. p to the 8th over p to the 9th. Now, this problem is a division of the same base, matching bases. And the rule that we have is we subtract the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So essentially the base stays p and we're subtracting 8 because that's on top and we're minus 9. Which means we're ending up with p to the negative 1. Now that is correct, that is the answer, but we don't want to leave it that way because the directions in your quiz are going to say you cannot leave negative exponents. So we remember that if you have a negative exponent, you need to move it to the bottom. So we're going to move the base to the bottom, p underground, and then change the exponent to a positive. So that can become a positive 1. And we need a placeholder. Since we don't have nothing in the top, we need to put a 1 up top just as a placeholder. So we get 1 over p to the 1. Or 1 over p is actually the same thing. I would accept either. This problem, we have m to the fifth times n to the negative third. These bases do not match, so we can't combine these at all. Um, but what we can do is take care of this negative three. Okay, so again, the negative means that this is going to have to move. So uh, we're going to write a fraction line. The n was up top. We need to move it to the bottom, and we change the negative three to a positive now. Now we didn't do anything with the m to the fifth, so it was actually on top. It gets to stay up top right where it was before. So we end up getting m to the fifth is left on top, n gets moved to the bottom, and the negative three becomes a positive three. And that's the final answer there. x to the zero. This one should be like ding, 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 ding. This should be easy for you because anything raised to the zero power is always equal to one, no matter what it is. So that one is easy. Let's do the last two problems. t to the fifth times t to the sixth. 
Now when we're multiplying and our bases match, what we get to do is we get to add up our exponents. So essentially we have the same base of t and we're adding the 5 plus 6 and that turns out to be t to the 11th. Now 11 is positive so we are done. This last problem is actually just like the problem with the t's except we have a's and b's. So with the a's, let's do those first. We get to add the 4 plus the 2. So we get the base is a and we're adding 4 plus 2. With the b's, we actually get to combine them as well. The first b has an invisible exponent. It has an exponent of 1. So we are going to do b to the 1 plus 5. So our final answer is actually going to be a to the 6th times b to the sixth. Remember that flashcards come in really handy. You just want to put the problem on one side and the answer on the other. The problem on one side and the answer on the other and go through and quiz yourself till these become natural.